What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. So I'm back again with another Android TV box review. And today I've got my hands on the Goobangdu A-Box A1 Max. Now I've already tried a few Goobangdu TV boxes in the past and I've had a very good experience with them. So I'm quite excited to see how well this TV box performs. So as usual, we'll run our full performance tests including 4K videos, gaming, benchmarks and we'll see how it ranks in our top TV box performance charts comparing it to other Android TV boxes. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So the CPU is the Rockchip 3328 quad core running at 1.5 gigahertz. The GPU is the Mali 450. You have two gigs of DDR3 RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, single band Wi-Fi BGN. There is no Bluetooth. Android version 7.1.2, no GART, supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second, supports HDR10 and HDMI version 2.0. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with a user manual, an HDMI cable, a UK power adapter, a remote control, and this remote control is actually programmable, so you can control your television with it, and the instructions are on the back. And last but not least, the brand new A-Box A1 Max. So here it is guys. So you've got this uh, very nice looking finish here with the A-Box logo in the center. Nothing at the front, nothing on the side. So on the back we have, it says SPDIF, but it looks more like a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. You've got a network LAN, your AV port, HDMI and your power socket. And if we keep going, you've got two USB ports on the side with a micro SD card slot. And that brings us back to the front of the unit and this is what the bottom of the unit looks like. So yeah, we've got a very nice looking box here, very slim and compact. So to give you guys an idea of the size, I'm gonna bring in the H96 Max. They look more or less the same size, but if I compare it, you can see that they are in fact exactly the same size, minus the corners for the A-Box, but it's exactly the same size. Now if we look in thickness, the H96 Max is actually a millimeter bigger. So now I'm going to get this hooked up to my TV and capture card and we're going to find out exactly how well this box performs. I'll be right back. First of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 15 seconds to fully load the home screen. And here is the home screen for the A-Box A1 Max. You have a very familiar and easy to navigate layout with the date, time and weather at the top. Now these large icons cannot be edited, they are fixed shortcuts, however the small icons at the bottom can be edited by hitting the plus sign, selecting your favourite apps and they will immediately appear at the bottom. Furthermore, let's go to settings to check out the system storage. This TV box has 16 gigs of internal storage from which you have 11 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this is running the latest Android 7.1.2 Nougat. Now let's have a quick look at what system apps you get as standard. So here are your standard apps on the system. I've not installed anything yet. These are your standard apps. You've got a few to get you started like Miracast, Media Center, Movie Player and the official Google Play Store, allowing you to install any game or app you like. Also looking at CPU-Z, you can see that this TV box comes rooted as standard. So I tested out Miracast with my Samsung Galaxy S8 and it was very quick and easy to connect. It immediately mirrored my screen. There was no lag whatsoever. It's a very smooth experience. So I can do anything on my smartphone such as watch movies, play games and it will be wirelessly mirrored on the big screen. For the next test I'm going to be playing some 4K video samples from a USB drive and I'll be using Kodi to run these tests. Now Kodi is the best media player to use as it contains all the codecs you will ever need for audio and video. So let's go ahead and play the first video. So that was 4K videos, let's move on now to the YouTube test. So you can stream a maximum of 720p on YouTube. I've 
seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh-huh. I've seen aliens drop. Tonight, we're taking game night up a notch. Oh, boy. Mm. Someone in this room is going to be taken, and it's going to be up to you to find them. It's a murder mystery party. Now let's check out the gaming performance. So in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 28 and upload speeds of 9 megabits per second. This is quite a decent result considering the top speed I currently get is between 20 to 30 megabits per second. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we got a total score of 26,972. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart for 2017, showing you all the latest Android TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. So as you can see, the Abox A1 Max has achieved position 54 on this chart. Now if we compare this TV box to its own price bracket, then here is the top performing Android TV box chart for under $100. And again, all devices have been ranked by Antutu scores. And on this chart, the Abox Max has achieved position 27. So to simplify things, going forward, I will provide two charts for every TV box I review, one comparing all the TV boxes and the other comparing it to its specific price bracket. So it'll be interesting to see which TV box I get next and what overall score it achieves. So stay tuned. So there you have it, guys. That was the Abox A1 Max Android TV box. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. You have a compact design with a front LCD panel, an easy to use home screen and the latest Android 7.1.2. This box also comes rooted as standard and the box was able to achieve very good Wi-Fi speeds. Now those were the good points, now let's have a look at the cons. The box struggles to play most 4K videos from a USB drive. The videos would be choppy, buffer or completely freeze. Furthermore, you can only stream a maximum of 720p on YouTube, but to be honest, it looked more like 480p. There is only single band Wi-Fi with no USB 3 and none of the basic apps like YouTube or Netflix were pre-installed. Now basic games played fine, however 3D games do not play as smooth as you would expect. I think this is a great example video of how important benchmark scores are. Now I experienced this TV box which performed bad in nearly every department and if you saw the benchmark score result that too paints the same picture. Bottom line, I do not recommend this Android TV box, it cannot do YouTube 720p properly let alone 4K videos and for $70 there are much better options out there and you can refer to my chart to help you decide. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description for this product in case you want to check it out. That's all for this video. If you're finding these TV box videos useful, then hit the like button to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.